Hey guys, that comes and today I will be doing a review of the Lady Gaga Heartbeats by Dr. Dre. Um, the reason I picked these up is because with them bringing out the Heartbeats 2.0, these were going for a really cheap price. Um, I managed to pick them up for £50, 50 pounds, which I'd say is about $70 and they are real because they were from Comet, which is a um, well-known uh, provider in Britain, so yeah. Let's get on to the unboxing. I have used these for about a week, a week, I mean about a month, so I know what the the sound quality and everything. I just roughly repackaged them. So I'll just show you on the front. So as you can see on the front there is a picture of the headphones. It's in the black and silver edition. Lady Gaga, which is all out dented, and as you can see the Beats logo and Heartbeats. And then also um here is high performance in ear headphones. So, and then on the side is um, just stuff about it. So it's got high performance sound, full power, wired with monster cables. It's a tangle free cable, which I'll get more into. Noise isolation, custom fit, protective case, and a three year limited warranty, which is very good to come with a product. Then on that side is a quote by Dre and his signature, and then the Beats logo, a monster logo again, and then in state in the color here. So then on the back is, again, Lady Gaga, quote by Lady Gaga, and um, sound is fashion, and about the non-tangle thing. And that's just the sleeve, so then you lift off this sleeve. So then it's got Lady Gaga again, silver. And on the right is the um, tab to pull out. And then on the bottom, nothing. The back is just a little number there. And then that's about it. So I'll get into the box. So as you can see, it's got a magnetic latch. So um, and you just open it up. As you can see, they are very sparkly. So I'll show you what you get in the box. So you get a second. You get carry pouch which is diamond like, like triangle like the um thing and then it's got the beats logo and then the monster logo on the other side of the zip so you just unzip it and then what comes in is another two set of earbuds that's the large and small earbuds as, and they come in a, bag, a separate bag and then there's a little um pouch and I'm not sure you can see with it being black I'm only on the iMac camera there you go pouch there so yeah that's good for carrying earphones quite a tight fit I I sometimes just shove a bit of money in it because the headphones still fit then you get the headphones as you can see they're all neatly packaged and then there's this black thing that you have got to pull up so as you pull it up you get the cable and the back all tied up then pop out the earbuds and pull it through the flap and then that's all it so, and there the earphones I'll get onto them after I've been into the box so what you get in the box is you get the manual and warranty um, it's just sound checking telling you not what to do and everything um, then there's a little monster catalogue yep with all their different types of products because they don't just do headphones monster they do all kinds of different things and then not too short this is i think it's more warranty information yeah more warranty information and that is all in the box so it's a pretty big box oh yeah I forgot about that you also get a clip to tie it to your shirt just clip it on and that's all in the box so get onto the headphones as you can see on the headphones you get a little velcro thing it is really and i often use these just to put them in the case because it is a tight fitting case so you do need something to bound bind it so that's what i use so i'll just take show you a quick tour from bottom to top so here is the right angle 3.5 millimeter jack it's got two prongs on it because there is no um control torque function on it and then there is the monster logo on the top then as you can see by this this is the anti-tangle wire 
which it does actually work. The only re way it gets tangled is it ties in a knot like that, which it doesn't very often in your pocket. Sorry if you can hear my phone. And it demonstrates heartbeats on the seat. And then Lady Gaga's signature, carry on up. And then this is when you get to, there we go, it's just the triangle beats. As you can see, they are quite form fit into the ear, as the triangle probably wouldn't go very well into your ear. So, they are quite like a long product, but, and then there's a little, prong on it saying what ear it is and this is the right ear so that's shaped for your right ear and then on the top there's the Beats logo and then on the other one is the Monster logo there so it is uh, I'd say it's more like a graphite colour than a black but has got little indentate um, like little other triangles inside the big triangle so um, Oh, I forgot to mention as well, this is a gold plated tip on the monster tip. So, um, they are very good sound quality, but if you download music that isn't studio music, you it makes you not want to listen to it, it makes you want to buy the studio um, quality music. Because I've got um, a Blackberry, so I use Tubbity to download some music, but then I've got my Blink album on there. And I just don't really want to listen to my downloaded music. I like listening to the studio because it really brings out the highs, the lows and the mids. It's not very good um, lows wise, bass and everything. So um, there, if you're looking at them, you need to get the actual over ear headphones or ones that aren't meant for pop as much. So, and if you think I'm not, I don't really know much about headphones. I've got two GCSEs in um, music technology, so I should know a fair bit compared to some people so um yeah i wanted some good quality headphones for my music because i'm getting into mu the course this year is all about music production so and the headphones at my school were not very good so um i needed high quality headphones to really pick out the instrument separation it has got really good instrument separation between the drums guitar and bass but the vocals are slightly flat um on some songs so um yeah well, that's been my review of the lady gaga heartbeats um if you live in Eng england uh if you're not too bothered about them um, i mean they don't look that girly but if you're not too bothered about them having heartbeats a little on the littlest bit then they are a good buy at the moment 50 pound in um comet so yeah i'm not too sure what the um worth in um U the united states but yeah, good buy in England at the moment, but uh, I mean, I'm thinking of buy, picking up some iBeats just because they've got the control talk and these aren't. So if I do, guys, I'll let you know and there'll be a review and unboxing of them up soon. So anyway, guys, cheers.